You at Walmart, you just get carried a freaking way for Easter. <laughs> oh, got carried away. So, got carried. Say you went overboard without saying you went overboard. Oh, this is coming with lots of questions. Lots of Bible thumping questions. Fill the baskets, they say. Okay, I finally finished the kids' baskets. Yes. So we turned our Bibles over to Matthew 26 and 27 for the Last Supper and the Crucifixion. I did not record the first half of the reading due to the length of the video, but here's chapter 27. Jesus. Some of the governor's soldiers took Jesus into their headquarters and called out the entire regiment. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. They wove thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head. And they placed a reed stick in his right hand as a scepter. Then they knelt before him in mockery and taunted, Hail King the Jews, the King of the Jews. And they spit on him and grabbed the stick and struck him on the head with it. When they were uh, finally tired of mocking him, they took off the robe and put on, put on his clothes, um, put his clothes on him again. Then they led him away to be crucified. The crucifixion. Along the way, they came across a man named Simone who was from Creon. The soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross, and they went out to place a uh, place called Gothga, which means place of the skull. The soldiers gave him wine mixed with bitter gall, but when he had tasted it, he refused to drink it. After they had nailed him to the cross, the soldiers gambled for his clothes by throwing dice. Then they sat around and kept guard as he hung there. A sign was fastened above Jesus' head, announcing the charge against him. It read, this is Jesus, the King of Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. I bet they represented what he was saying at the dinner table when he said, people on my left and the people on my right, get it? That, that came full circle. So the people passing by shouted, Abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Look at you now, they yelled at him. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, if you are the son of God, save yourself and come down from the cross. The leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the elders also mocked Jesus. He saved others. They, um, they scoffed, but he can't save himself. So he is the king of Israel, is he? Let him come down from the cross right now, and we will believe in him. He trusted God, so let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. Even the revolutionaries who were crucified with him ridiculed him in the same way. So the people next to him even ridiculed him the same way as the people that's crucifying all three of them. So uh, the death of Jesus, at noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. At about three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma esabu, which means, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some of the bystanders misunderstood, thought he was calling for the prophet Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, holding it up to him on a reed stick so he could drink. But the rest said, wait, let's see where whether Elijah comes to save him. Then Jesus um, shouted out again, and he released his spirit. At that moment, the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom, and this this curtain was went all the way. It was very large. It tore, split down the center when um when his when his soul left, or um when Jesus basically was dying or died. Of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. The earth shook, rocks split apart, and tombs opened. The bodies of manly, many godly men and women who had died were raised from the dead. They left the cemetery after Jesus' resurrection, went into the holy city of Jerusalem, and appeared to many people.
All right, are you listening? The Roman officer and the soldiers at the crucifixion were terrified by the earthquake and all that happened. They said, this man truly was the son of God. As, and many women who had come from Galilee with Jesus to care for him were watching from a distance. Um, among them were many Mag Mag Magdalene, um, Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of James and John, the sons of Je Jebedee, the burial of Jesus. This is the burial of Jesus, and then we'll read the resurrection and we'll be done for then. All right, as the evening approached, Joseph, a rich man from Arimathea, who had become a follower of Jesus, went to Pilate, asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate issued an order to release it to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a long sheet of clean linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb, which had been carved out of the rock. Then he rolled a great stone across the entrance and left. So they put Jesus' body in this tomb, basically, with a huge stone rock in it that many people rolled in front of it, okay? Rolled in front of the tomb. Both Mary and Magdalene and other uh, the other Mary were sitting across from the tomb and watching. So they took watch on this tomb, right? The guard at the tomb, the next day, the Sabbath, the next day was the Sabbath, which is Sunday. The leading priests and the Pharisees went to see Pilate. Um, they told him, sir, we remember what they, that deceiver once said while he was still alive. After three days, I will rise from the dead. So we request that you seal the tomb until the third day. Do you hear that? They sealed the tomb until the third day. This will prevent his disciples from coming in and stealing his body and then telling everyone he was raised from the dead. If that happens, we'll, we'll be the worse off than we were at first. Pilate uh, replied, take guard and secure it the best you can. So they sealed the tomb and posted guard to protect it. You hear this? They put a guard and they sealed it. So the resurrection. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, are you listening? Rolled aside the stone and sat on it. His face shone like lightning and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards took, shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. They fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come see where his body was lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. The, woman, the women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them. And they ran to him, grasped his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave the Galilee and they will see me there. So this opened up a whole nother part of the, of the book, you know, him, the resurrection of Jesus. So this is why we celebrate Resurrection Sunday, okay? Easter. It's, it's Easter as man knows, to be man made, but it's Resurrection Sunday, okay? Excuse me, sorry. So Resurrection Sunday, this is what we basically, um, early on Sunday morning, Jesus rose again, so we celebrate, we celebrate, him rising from the dead. Okay? And this is this is written by this is written and it was occurred so that we can read about it and know that 
You know, God is real. Jesus is real. All these events happen. You do the good. Amen. Preach. People, you know how you have people that record as throughout time, history books and history? People wrote the book. Some people may die with the knowledge. But yeah, they, write, they write it down, it write down the knowledge they and pass it, it down. The so that's why, because we are sinners and we're non-believers and whatnot. And so these events occurred the way they occurred to save our souls and to um, basically uh, be a guide for our lives, okay? Kate Milani on what she, tell her what happened eating bread and wine and with the bread and wine Jesus said I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell the truth I'm gonna be honest and he told everybody what they're gonna do he said he told Judas you're gonna yep, be good job me. No. and the, what go ahead and then the other one's gonna uh he said Judas gonna you're become gonna... close to me Okay, that's he said the left and the right people. Some yeah. are going to be close and some are not mm, going to no. be. But wh who else did he say was going to, who was going to deny him three uh, times? Uh, it began with a P. His name begins with a P. Do you remember? Peter. Oh, he said, he Peter, said you're going to deny him three times before, before yeah, the chicken, the, chicken, the, the rooster. Oh, yeah, the rooster. Come, come, come. They ended up betraying him still. And like he said, the he, Peter he betrayed him Peter three times. And mm -hmm. Jesus became right. Okay. And he yep. was correct with everything he said. And, um, what's his name? Judas. He he and he ended up killing himself, or he got the money back. Gave the money back. He, mm -hmm. he gave the money back, and he hanged himself. And he killed him. And mm -hmm. they took they put they put Jesus in a red cloak first, and like in his scarlet cloak, and they beat on the, 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 the Jews. Beat they him. made fun of him. And yeah, and they spit on him, slapped him. Yeah. And then after that, they put him back in his old clothes. And he said he would come back to life. And when they put him on the crucifix, the uh, crucifix, and like put the crown on him, the spiked crown. Mm -hmm. He had screamed out words while he was dying. Mm -hmm. um, they thought he was calling out for um, Elijah. Elijah. And, and they won. Mm -hmm. And when while he died, uh, there was a huge curtain, and there was a curtain, and it cut it like it split in half. Yep. And then. They had gone, they took him to the tomb because he said he would awaken. In and three, how many days? Three days. And so, um, they had guards. He, they put a, put him in a, a huge cave. With, um, okay, let me roll your way Yeah, we locked it off with what? Like some type of big motor rock. Yep, stone. Yeah, stone. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what else? Then what happened after the stone? After the stone, they had the guard. They had it guarded because he said he saw his friends with it or his believers with it. Um, and just um. They had a guard and a stone. So they wouldn't take his body. And he yep. Said that he resurrected. Mm -hmm. But then after on the third day, April right. fifth, as known. Yeah. Um, on the third day, they came. Came back to the earth. Uh, an angel came and brought down the earthquake upon them and pushed in the earthquake, pushed over the rock, and he sat on the rock. And the two guards fainted, and he came out the tomb and. Oh, I don't know why you no, keep saying. No, it was on April fifth. We looked it up. Oh, go ahead. My turn. Lick your lips. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. What else? What happened? What happened on the third day, Royal? What happened on the third day of the of being in the tomb? What happened on the third day of being in the tomb? I just said. What happened? Yeah, but I want to see if Royal. Hmm. He did. What happened? What did Jesus? What happened to Jesus on the third day? Who's water? He wants some water there. He rose on the third day again, right? Yeah. He rose from the dead. And then what happened? What did he tell everybody to go tell them to do? He told them to spread the word. Okay.
Paris. No, Royal. Who, what was the name of the person who betrayed Jesus? Uh, Peter. No. I mean, Judas? Yes. Paris. What? How many days was Jesus in the tomb? He was in there for three days. Days. Okay. Who denied Jesus three times? Uh, Peter. Good job. What did they eat and drink at the supper table with the 12 disciples? Oh, uh, wine and crackers. It's my turn. No. You got the Bread. drink right. Bread. Bread. Bread and wine. Good job. Bread and wine. Good job. How many coins did Judas get? To 30. 30 coins. Go 30 gold or silver? Yeah, gold or silver. Silver. 30 silver coins. Okay. Good job. What ended up happening he to Judas? He killed himself. He hung, he hung. hanged himself and okay. he killed him. Good job. And he gave, what did he give the, what did he do with the coins? He gave it back. Gave okay. And then what did they do with the coins that they gave back? Uh-huh. What did they do? What did they do? Mulan, it's your turn. Huh? Mulan, it's your turn. She don't know. What What did they do? So, remember, they didn't want to put the money back in the treasury because it was murder money. So, what did they do with the murder money? Did they give it back to the man? They bought land with it. They bought land with it. Y'all don't remember that part? They no. bought land with it. It's called the uh, Valley of Blood or something. All right, guys. I guess you've earned your gifts today. Oh, it's my one. And we're, we're exchanging these gifts in celebration of Jesus' resurrection. So just like he gifted his people, we're going to gift each other. Um, really just want, as Jesus did. I really want that one because it has a big bunny, but I'll just I'll just and That one is yours, and you know it is. So that one in the center is the baby. No, I want the And this is Paris's, and all the stuff surrounding is the baby's. Because this is his first real, you know, resort. And this is Milani's last. So that bike is his? Basket having on Resurrection Day. Yeah, that, that Day. Is yours, <laughs> yes, it is.